So uh, the first place we're going to is actually a place called the uh, Rice Burger, uh, where apparently the patties are made from, or sorry, the buns. The buns are made from rice. Uh, so we're gonna try it out uh, and see what it tastes like. It's only takeout. Uh, so we are just gonna order some takeout, a couple burgers, look at the menu, and then uh, we'll see uh, from there. We'll try to find a spot with some good lighting and uh, try it out from there. Chicken katsu. What is this uh, vlog for? Just a food vlog, kind of going for like you know, just actually the first one we're trying, so oh, it's nice. gonna be it's gonna nice. be uh, it's gonna be very rustic. Well, well, you know what? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, exa right? exactly right. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, starting with the smartphone. No yeah. worries, we're doing like a big uh, we're doing a big burger tour of uh, nice. of uh, Vancouver, nice. so this is kind of a cool burger thing to start yeah. off with. Love yeah. Ah, uh, so yeah, they were really nice here. Uh, they recommended uh, three things. Uh, so we're gonna get the special, it looks like, uh, wait, <clears throat> yeah, the spicy chicken katsu, the farmhouse, which it looks like a combination of three different meats, and then the kimchi fries, which is a little add-on. Uh, we were just going for burgers, but kimchi fries sounds pretty good to me. Uh, so uh, we're gonna give that a shot. Uh, probably gonna walk around for a little bit uh, should be about 10 minutes before we get this to go and then uh, we can give this our uh, first shot yeah, okay, oh yeah there you, <laughs> you got it oh you are okay perfect awesome wow Oh yeah! Oh, oh look at that! Oh yeah! That looks amazing. <laughs> Perfect. Thank that you so much. So yeah, side. that's great. Thank you. <clears throat> so, this is our kimchi fries vegetarian. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a local company that makes our kimchi. It's called Salty Cabbage. Mm -hmm. So it's that, and then our aburi garlic corn. It's kind of like a roasted garlic corn on there. Okay. Perfect. This is the farmhouse. This is the chicken, and this is just some of our popcorn chicken I threw in there for y'all. This awesome. Is, uh, again, from us for saying thank you for coming. Yeah, by. perfect. Okay, right. thank Enjoy you so much. Here. Yeah, Enjoy. awesome. Oh, so we got the kimchi fries over here, looking beautiful. Uh, very nice. They gave us some extra uh, side of chicken, uh, so we're gonna be uh, very full <laughs> after this. And then look at these. These look amazing. Uh, looks like they're both deep fried, which looks great. Uh, so one of them should be, <clears throat> it's interesting how they deep fried both of them. So you're gonna have a deep fried kind of meat patty and then the chicken on top of that too. Okay. First of all, let's try the chicken since it's hot already. Oh yeah. Mmm, <clears throat> really juicy. Mmm. Uh, Mm, very good fried chicken. Yeah. Crunchy. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, some nice um, dark bits in there. The batter is a little bit light. Uh, <clears throat> and, uh, mm, yeah. No, very solid chicken. Uh, the kimchi fries look really good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let's just see. Oh, so you get that kimchi right on there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, <clears throat> the fries are nice and thin, so they're very crispy. Uh, the kimchi kicks in very nicely on it. Um, I think I'm gonna try to get, oh, let's try to get a big, oh, they got toothpicks. Okay, let's try to get the big bite here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> they put a lot of kimchi on here, so that's very, that's a very good thing. Uh, get a bit of corn. Ooh, that's gonna be a bit, hmm. <laughs> Try plan B. Oh, there you go. Oh. Wait, wait. <clears throat> mm, mm. Oh, the sweet mayo <clears throat> comes in really nice, and the sweetness from the corn, balancing with the very crispy fries, are texturally on point. Very, very good. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's try our burgers. Yeah, burger, yeah. I'm not sure which one's which. Uh, this one, look at this beauty. Wow. So look at the close-up of that. Wow. I don't know how I'm gonna eat this. Uh, so yeah, like rice as a, as a bun. Uh, you can tell they crisp it up a little bit on the bottom. And there's that, look at that in the middle. What is that? Let me just try a little bit. 
Mmm, okay. Oh, I see what they did. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so let's see. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> it's gonna be a crazy bite over here. Wait, oof. Right away, you get the chicken, the crispiness again, the meat under. Let me just try it with the meat. It's a bit of a, it's a hard one to. Just thick. Mmm. Mmm. I'll probably have a nice little. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. So the meat under, yeah, is uh, should be beef, and then it's mixed with uh, the crispy chicken on top. It looks like a. Uh, Oh my God, it's like three different types of meat. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So that's what they did. I thought it was actually gonna be in the patty. No, what they did is they actually uh, <clears throat> have three different meats. So it seems like the beef is on the bottom. You have the tomato, you have the fried chicken, and then you have the pork on top. What the rice does really well with it, it soaks it up, uh, which is what rice does, uh, especially that's very, very juicy. Uh, so just the chicken. This one should be a little bit easier to eat. Look at that chicken though, huge piece of chicken, very good. Uh, the mayo looks on the top, some kind of uh, possibly sweet sauce, uh, tomato, lettuce. Uh, let's try it out. What's nice is that piece I got a whole bunch of mm, chicken oil that just burst in your mouth. <clears throat> I don't know if that's from maybe some skin being in there or something. I can't really taste the sweetness that much. Mm, mm. Now, when you get everything together, it comes, it's actually really good. Um, the rice makes a great bun, wow, which is really cool. And it's a nice little char on the top, too. Um, Looks like it might be, no, actually, just the rice. I don't see any sesame seeds or anything like that. <clears throat> uh, overall, very good. Let me just try that. Yes. Oh. called Bells and Whistles, uh, kind of like a bar place, uh, but apparently they have a very, very good burger, so let's try it out. <laughs> so they have a... Uh, say hi to Ruben. You can get Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> uh, oh. So they have a spicy burger, a fancy burger, and a classic burger. Uh, so they have the fancy burger, uh, which is probably what I'm gonna get. Uh, with goat cheese, mushrooms, onions, truffle and basil aioli. So I'm gonna give that a shot. The classic burger looks pretty good. They have a secret sauce with the pickles. Uh, and they also have an all-day breakfast burger, which looks really good, actually. Uh, yeah, maybe it's too fancy burger. We'll do the fancy burger for this one. Uh, I kind of taste uh, a bit of that truffle oil. see how it goes uh, with the whole burger. Oh, there you go. Cheers. Cheers. So we have a fancy burger right there. Oh, yes, with the pickles and everything. <clears throat> we have this sausage burger just over here. Let's see. Oh, it's look at that ash burger. brown. Oh, and the burger patty and the egg. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that looks great. Okay, and then the tuna burger, which looks amazing. Look at that tuna, the pinkness. Perfect. Uh, comes with some squash soup, some uh, big looking fries right there. Really good. Mm. Oh, 
Mm. Oh, you get the saltiness <clears throat> of, uh, mm. there's a cheese in there. I think it's a goat's cheese. Uh, with the pickles, you have some microgreens, and that patty is very, very good. I don't really taste the truffle, but the acidity of everything else blends really well together. <clears throat> uh, right there, I'll look at that bite too. Oh, maybe not. There you go. Perfect. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Perfect. Nice little fry. Mm. Yeah, good fry too. But the burger, definitely got the fancy burger. Really, 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 really solid. Uh, the other one, <clears throat> the other burgers are apparently very good. Uh, unfortunately, because of COVID and everything, we're not gonna share the burgers. Uh, but the other burgers I've confirmed are very solid too. We're, we're back and we're gonna go to a French place called Au Comptoir uh, hoping they have the burger. What's special about their burger is they have a uh, raclette which is a uh, French cheese, French or Swiss? I'll have to look that up. Uh, from the Alps and they put it on top. Raclette, if you don't know it, if you've ever been to one of those fairs and uh, or if, uh, just that big wheel of cheese that you kind of just they heat it up and then they just kind of scrape it onto the potatoes i don't know if they'll have the whole big thing of cheese but the burger with that on it sounds very very uh very good uh so let's go try it out Oh no, they do have the burger. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna do the burger and then probably a de veau, which looks really good too. And uh, maybe a couple beers. Perfect. Okay, super. Hein? Perfect. Yeah, perfect. We're just going to share everything. Awesome. Wow, super. Bon appétit. Okay, merci. Wow, look at that. <laughs> and this, oh look at that, yes, perfect, oh look at those veal sweetbreads too, oh <laughs> beautiful, wow. So I uh, just got the two things right now, so we got the burger with the raclette on it, you can see the bacon and um, just the bun, toasted bun, uh, fries, salad, um, then we got uh, lit de veau, which is a veal sweetbread. And uh, just close up on there one 
second. So you have, uh, <clears throat> this is just an extra dish that we got just because it looked, and look at the poached egg too. Oh, perfect, okay. So let's try the burger. Let's just see how it tastes. Very juicy. Yeah, very juicy. <clears throat> Look at all that juice just on the bottom there. Oh, the raclette too. Oh, okay. Let's put that on the top just to get another another bite there. Yeah. I think I just pulled my neck. Mm. <clears throat> oh yeah. Well, you get a lot of this sweetness from the onions. Uh, they caramelize the onions really nice. The hot plate comes in. Uh, it's a nice little tanginess to it, a little bit of funk. And the burger patty, very, very tender. Uh, so, very solid burger, little fry. Uh, you can dip it right into the juice. I have a little bit of, a, of juice right there on the side. It's good fries, too. Yeah, very good fries. <clears throat> now, let's try the sweet breads just for a little bit. Look at just uh, close up. No. <laughs> What's up with this? <laughs> Look at the egg. Look at the egg right on there. Oh, perfect. Look at that right on there. Oh, nice. So you have the potatoes, it looks like. Uh, you have the sweet bread. Now, I want to try everything all together. So let's just try to get a big grand bite. burger just to try to get everything look inside you have the patty you have the bacon uh, you have a, the hot plate which is kind of just solidified a little bit and then you have just the greens at the bottom so overall very solid just one more bite let's give this a shot shape of a wheel. It looks like we have probably some kind of caramel thing on the side. Uh, let's give this a shot. Close up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at that. Man. A little bit of the sauce right there. cream is amazing very I really taste the nuts in there and the cream not too sweet very nice balance the shoe is a little bit a little bit thick but doesn't matter that it's all about that cream that cream is really really good the caramel sauce adds another extra layer of sweetness to it that aftertaste is heavenly come here on Sundays have a great meal Get the Paris Brest. It is really, really good.
Yeah, it said 8 p.m. on the thing, or everywhere it said 8 p.m. Uh, and tried to open the door and not opening. Uh, so uh, we'll try another day. Uh, hopefully it'll be open uh, another time. Anyways, uh, now that that happened, we'll probably have to come up with a plan B. Uh, so we're gonna try out another place that we looked online called Whorehouse. Uh, and that one should be open until 10. Yes. So we're gonna try pour a house out. Uh, it's really dead. It's kind of eerie right now. Uh, it should be open. Ooh, actually there's another place. Ooh, look at this place too. That looks should really we? good. Well, there's Poor House right, right in front of it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, let's try it out. Uh, so yeah, we've decided we're actually gonna go for their uh, Poor House burger. We're also gonna go for the Wagyu beef tartare uh, and the Scotch A. Uh, so those are the three options. We also got some whiskey sours, this being a whiskey bar. Uh, so we're gonna try everything out. Uh, menu looks pretty good. A little bit on the pricey side, but it looks like all the stuff is pretty decent quality. Uh, uh, so we're getting three different things. We're gonna get the Poor House Burger, the classic burger that they have, the one that's very highly recommended. The Wagyu Steak Tartare, which is the raw beef. And then on top of that, we're also going to get the scotch egg with fennel sausage. Uh, lots of meat, uh, which is perfect for us. Uh, so, I think it's going to be pretty enjoyable. Uh, this, the steak is, or the beef is 40, it's aged 40 days, uh, which sounds very good to me. And yeah. <laughs> There you go. That looked really fake. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> mm. mm. Oh yeah. That's a good whiskey sour actually. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, yeah. So this is the uh, whiskey sour that they gave us. Uh, very well done uh, with Buffalo Trace and. Uh, no complaints. <laughs> yeah, very, very good. So the food just showed up. Uh, we have the deviled eggs, uh, or sorry, scotch eggs, scotch eggs, uh, looks like with a dipping sauce. The tartare looks really interesting. Uh, there were blueberries in it. He said the egg was cooked to a certain temperature. So look at that texture right there. Uh, let's get the fork actually. Yeah, let's do that. I just want to see the texture of that egg, which looks really interesting. Uh, very nice, yeah, look at that egg right there, beautiful. And the sauce will go very nicely with it. Uh, and that, kind of the same texture with this egg yolk too. Uh, yeah, so obviously very meticulous. I uh, li like the presentation too, the blueberries will be an interesting touch. Uh, I think I will try, I'm gonna try the tartare first. So let's try this over here. You get the light enough? Enough light? Yeah? Okay, perfect. Let's try this, yeah, let's try this with the egg right there. Mm. 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 One more bite. Mm. 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 Okay. <laughs> Wow, okay, very buttery. Yeah, very nice, the egg. Oh, you get a very nice flavor from the egg, actually, which mixes uh, very well everything. The gherkins give it a nice little uh, crispy edge to it. Uh, very buttery. The Wagyu, you can taste, uh, it's a more buttery beef, uh, but still cut pretty, uh, pretty rough. So you actually get the nice texture of the different parts uh, of the beef. It's not too, uh, you know, you have sometimes you have the 
a very minced meat and that's not like that at all this is actually a rough cut which is very nice because you get to taste the beef and the flavor is there the flavor is really good uh, the blueberries you don't really taste the blueberries so uh, maybe they add a bit of a sweet I don't know if they really add that much to it uh, but I like the fact that it's not too sweet I thought with the amount of blueberries on there I was gonna be pretty sweet uh, but overall, no, uh, I don't taste that much sweetness at all. Uh, so I guess they do add something. I'm not quite sure, uh, but uh, very good. Yeah, very, very solid. And you can definitely taste the quality. The quality of the beef is definitely there. Uh, let's go to the scotch egg now. So yeah, <laughs> this one's gonna be a little bit messy. Let's try it. Oh, let's try it with the sauce. Let's see that right there. Ooh. So I'm gonna do a halfer. Oh, <laughs> that's a big, <laughs> that's a big bite. You think I can do it? Yep. <laughs> I think you can. All right. Oh, look at that. That piece right there. Ooh. Very good. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Wow. Oh, right there. Let me wrap my head around that. That is amazing. The egg is cooked so well. The sauce is a little bit tangy, spicy. Um, the sausage around it also has a nice spice to it. You can taste the fennel. Uh, so well cooked. Wow, amazing. Uh, very little crispy edge, but it's all about that combination. Just, yeah, that's, uh, I just have to do another one of these right now because I can't get over that sauce. That sauce is amazing. Brings it all back, kind of brings it all together. Mm. Mm. <laughs> all about that sauce the creamy egg yolk with the sauce when you combine the two I'm really good you get this really amazing creaminess and the creaminess of the egg yolk will combine with the sauce and you get that sausage that just hits you in the face right after uh, so yeah talking to the server actually uh, we did uh, so the burger actually we Got a fried egg on top of that burger there. Oh. Mm. Wow. Like a little <laughs> yeah, that's great. Perfect. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. Yeah. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Cheers. Okay. Oh, got the. So, yeah, we got just got the burger. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that egg. Look at that egg. It looks so good. Yeah. I, oh man. I, I should I even break it? I don't know. It looks like a piece of art. Uh, I mean, Mon Mona, Mona Lisa or this? I might, I might choose this. Honestly. Yeah. Uh, we got this drink, which is what is it called? Uh, a Sinar Spritz. Uh, so apparently it's a kind of another bitter. It's kind of like an Aperol Spritz. Oh, medicine-y. Yeah, very good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, it reminds me a lot of actually uh, what my grandma used to have. It's uh, in France, there's something called a Ferne Branca. And uh, it's a uh, very kind of medicinal, herby kind of drink. It's definitely a bitter for sure. Uh, very herby with the, uh, with the kind of fizzy part to it uh, the lemon inside it's yeah if you're uh, if you're an herbal medicine kind of guy and you like those kind of bitters this, this is your thing and this is actually I, I love bitter things so this has been very good mm. now I mean it would be rude to go for this first uh, for, for the fries and the Caesar I think we have to go right to the burger to be honest uh, 
Yeah, I might need a I might need a plate for this. <laughs> so let's do yeah, let's do the plate. Oh yeah, because this is gonna be this is gonna be very messy. This is gonna be a construction site. <laughs> oh, the bun is very soft. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh no, <laughs> already. Yeah, the yolk is already uh, the yolk is already gone, but it's okay. Oh my god. Okay, let's just do it. Oh wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> this is an absolute winner. This is amazing. The juiciness of the beef is amazing. We asked for a medium rare. The egg just bursts into it. You get this crispy crust. Uh, the burger, they must have really seared it. And then you just get this giant burst of beefy flavor. Wow, you can really, oh, it's all about the beef. The beef is amazing. Look at the look at the beef and how big the patty is look at this patty this patty is amazing uh, i'm i'm speechless this burger is really really good uh let me i mean another bite is is necessary um with the egg on there mm. Mm. That's very good. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm almost speechless. Wow. Is, yeah. 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 <laughs> That's very good. Yeah. Medium rare. If you like medium rare, get it. Um, honestly, because oh, you just get that crispy, beautiful crust. Uh, you get a bit of the mayo. Look how thick this bacon is. You get this beautiful, crispy bit of bacon right in there. The egg just bursts right into your mouth. Uh, you get it. Yeah, the cheese is very well balanced too. The bun is perfect, but it's all about that beef. The beef is so juicy. Uh, very rough cut to a beef. Uh, so you kind of get all the textures, which are beautiful. And the crispy, the crispy, the crispy edge to the patty itself is what makes this burger. Uh, you can tell they really just pressed it on the grill uh, to really get that texture. The texture is amazing, but you can really taste the beef. And, and yeah, this is, yeah, this, this might be the best burger in Vancouver, to be honest. And, you know, yeah. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, actually you mentioned it after, is you can actually go there for lunch and you can get the burger and a beer for 20 bucks, which for that burger is a great deal. So definitely go there. All the food was incredibly solid. Uh, I didn't really have any complaints other than the fr fries were a little bit, little bit soggy. But other than that, everything else was really, really good. So yeah, please, uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe. Please hit the bell icon. Uh, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, comment uh, if you have any questions, any suggestions. Uh, we're just starting out. Uh, so any any kind of suggestions, any kind of cool uh, things you can recommend. Uh, and if you had any questions about the food, uh, just uh, hit us up in the comment section. Uh, great to start this out and hope to see you very soon. Ciao.